So during the last uh, 20 years, big discoveries of epigenetic research have transformed our knowledge of normal and perturbed development. And enzymatic systems have been discovered that allow to stabilize gene expression programs and adjust cell fates. Well, today's symposium will uh, we'll bring together a, a panel of leading experts in epigenetic research, from basic research uh, to understand the development of, of inhibitors, to understand modification of DNA by DNA methylation, and the cell fate uh, decisions. And it will also be built uh, an important bridge to connect researchers from basic research to the clinics, which will be very important because on the one hand, it is essential to understand the mechanisms, but on the other hand, it's also very much important to see how that is relevant for, for clinic and for the treatment of human disease. I think the epigenetic is uh, the future for the oncology and that's why I'm very interested in attending this conference. Oh, it's a good lineup of top epigenetic scientists here, it's close by, I'm from Munich, it's a good opportunity. So to me it was mainly educational because I'm not really familiar with um, epigenetic control of, um, of the genome in cancer. But we made a very successful and nice cooperation with FARSC and using an HDEC inhibitor and a clinical doctor. Well, firstly, I think you're gathering a tremendous lineup of speakers today on, on what is a forefront topic uh, for drug discovery research as well as top, top grade science. So the reason was to meet these people, to get engaged in the community, and of course to find out what you're doing here at FARSC. Maybe there would be a possibility to, to develop drugs which, are, which could be really effective for cancer patients and uh, to control more the epigenetic uh, um, well, diversity and uh, well, to bring this through drugs.